Can I still buy a house without saving for a down payment? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. We got Jason Bonarigo here today. We're, today we're talking about down payment options with 401ks and gifts. And be sure you stick to the end of the video in order to figure out what we're going to do with this thousand dollars with your help. So, Jason, do I have to save for a down payment in the traditional sense? Do I have other options? You always have options. Okay. Yes. A lot of times clients don't know that, but they don't have to save up, you know, paycheck by paycheck. They have alternatives there. And, and one of the main ones is, is gift, right? Uh, right? A nice mom and dad, some grandparents, but seriously, family, friends, close relatives, uh, they can get what we call a donate or a gift. And they right. give you that in the form of a gift letter. We walk them through that and they can use that for their entire down payment in a lot of programs. Okay, so only in a lot of programs, not all programs. Not all programs, no. Okay. Usually those first time home buyer programs, FHA, sometimes a mass housing or a local state program, that they'll work, work as well. Okay, so situations, need to reach out to the mortgage banker, ask it's, about gifts. It's always particular, right? of course. So can anyone, just anybody give a gift as they down payment? No, again, it's, it's program specific. Right. Uh, most programs, obviously, they, you know, they want a they want to show us what we call a strong relationship. Okay. So it can be a fiance, it can be a, a close family member, an uncle, obviously mom and dad, of course, right. that's the number one that we see all the time. But uh, but yeah, I mean, if you've had someone to, hey, this is this guy's been our family friend has been in there for a long, long time, and you can document that or kind of okay. show that it's fine. It just can't. So be, Ted off the street can't. Ted give off the street payment. can't give you the uh, the boatload of cash. Okay. No, no, unfortunately. And so can I give you? cash uh, so like say if i was giving gift gifting you cash yes. okay yep. in order to use for my down payment can we do that cash is not always king as we joke about in some other uh videos right but you know you would have to go through the seasoning program and again i think your question is we do have to document the gift right so if you're giving me a gift then we would ask for maybe a down uh proof of uh the the, the balance in your account or some receipts we want to see a balance so you there need that from the gifting person from the gifting person right. we call it the donor's ability to give so, so be sure to check out that seasoning easy. video because yep. the, the seasoning of funds for your down payment that, that that's a really great business so we talk to me about 401k yep. so yep. okay mom and dad they're not available in order to give me a gift, but up. I've got a bunch of money in my 401k, so yeah. I can pull from that? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. In most cases, again, I always tell everyone to check with their check with their provider, check with their HR personnel right. department, and see what the plan offers, your retirement okay. accounts. But a lot of times, the 401k is the best way to go because it's interest-free. You're paying yourself back, and in most cases, as a first-time homebuyer or as a primary residence homebuyer, uh, there's no tax implications, and you can take up to the invested amount, sometimes $20,000, thirty, forty thousand dollars What about a hardship? I've heard about hardships in 401 ks Yeah, hardships are not ideal, but again, if it makes sense, meaning that you have two out of the three of the big three, the good right. credit, the good job, and you're young enough, then I'm not totally opposed. Again, talk to your accountant and talk to some other professionals, but I'm not totally opposed right. to that hardship withdrawal. If you have to take out twenty or thirty grand, and you're relatively young enough to make that up, the tax implications are not that bad, and you can get your dream home. Hey, you can get your dream home, which is also going to appreciate in value. Exactly, is a huge tax benefit for yeah. you. So there's so there. In I the mean, end, it evens out. You don't right. want to take a hardship withdrawal when you're 50 or 60, but in your 20s or 30s, it's you know you you, you want to take a good look at it if that's your only option. Because again, as we talked about before, saving up those that five, 10, 20 percent in this market in this day and age, it's it's difficult. Yeah. It's so hard. so basically, everybody's situation is different. Of course, you do have options, whether it be getting a gift or pulling from your 401k. Um, just really need to reach out to you know your mortgage professional, your yep. banking professional, yep. probably your financial advisor, as well as your accountant, and be really, really nice to mom and dad. So right, give you that gift. Yes, yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I'm Jeff Chubb. Uh, my team, the Chubb Homes team, we're brokered by EXP Realty. Jason. Jason Bonarigo, RMS Mortgage in Boston, uh, cell phone 617-413-5038. And for this $1,000, we're giving $1,000 when we hit 1,000 subscribers today, SPCA. So if you like puppies, then make sure that you hit the like button so that way we can give this $1,000. Who doesn't and, love puppies? I'm, I'm telling you, that, I'm telling you, that commercial, it just it's gets true. me every time. It gets me every time. time. Gets yeah. me every time. My yeah. wife, Kelly, she always makes me turn it off. So $1,000, hit subscribe. Let's save some puppies together. Um, but otherwise, should you need anything, always feel free to reach out to me at 617-480-2600 or online at boston2.com. Thanks for watching.